Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. The coronavirus pandemic not yet easing its grip on the United States. The U.S. now surpassing 25 million COVID-19 cases with more than 419,000 deaths. Health leaders say that hospitalizations have started plateauing now across the country and almost every state is reporting a decline in new infections. But they warn that the new COVID-19 strains could delay progress. Public health officials maintain available vaccines should be effective against the United Kingdom variant. We're in a race against these variants. The virus is going to change and it's up to us to adapt and to make sure that we're staying ahead. Meantime, the rollout continues to face obstacles. Thousands of appointments across the country have been canceled due to a shortage of doses. And some state and local officials are now calling on the federal government to release vaccines being held in reserve. Officials say that another vaccine could be on the way. Johnson & Johnson is expected to release phase three trial data for its vaccine candidate in the coming days. Well, locally, more vaccine clinics will be held this week. The next vaccine clinic in Mobile County is expected to take place on Wednesday at the Alabama Cruise Terminal. Mobile County Health Department is no longer taking appointments. The vaccines will be given on a first come first serve basis from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. for people 75 years of age and older, first responders and health care workers. Then across the bay in Baldwin County, the health department is still planning vaccination events tomorrow and Thursday at the Daphne Civic Center. It too will be first come, first served from 9 a.m. until noon. Again, only those 75 years of age and older health care workers and first responders will be eligible. And of course, you must bring your identification. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill are gearing up for their second impeachment trial in two years. House Democrats are set to deliver the article of impeachment against former President Donald Trump to the U.S. Senate today. This move would have formally started former President Trump's second impeachment trial. But on Friday, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and the Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell agreed to start the trial the week of February the 8th. This gives the House impeachment managers and the former president's legal team two weeks to prepare for the trial. Senator Mitt Romney, who voted to convict the former president during the first impeachment trial, says it's necessary to hold the former President Trump accountable. But that puts him at odds, though, with some other congressional Republicans. Over the, the last year or so, there has been an effort to corrupt the election in the United States, and it was not by President Biden, it was by President Trump. A lot of Americans are going to think it's strange that the Senate is spending its time trying to convict and remove from office a man who left office a week ago. If all Senate Democrats vote to convict the former president, 17 Republicans would still need to join them and break ranks to get a conviction. Trump is accused of incitement of insurrection in the January 6th breach of the Capitol building by his supporters. I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report before 430 in the morning. A little isolated rain working its way from the south to the north in spots. Very light rain and there's also some patchy fog out and about this morning. So there are a couple of hazards for your morning commute. Make sure you understand that you're not really going to need big thick jackets to start this week. Our temperatures are going to be well above average as strong moisture out of the Gulf is surging in. Temperatures this afternoon will hit the mid 70s and we're expecting to stay in the 70s today, tomorrow, and for Wednesday. So a huge chunk of this week will have above average temperatures and mild mornings. Rain coverage today very hit and miss, and then we're expecting more widespread rain tomorrow with a chance of thunderstorms. So for your Monday morning, patchy fog, the main weather headline. Then this afternoon, very warm with isolated rain, and then tomorrow, high rain chance with possible thunderstorms mixed in. Let's go through the Fox 10 future cast where a little isolated rain will continue in spots. The sky will be cloudy. Grab the rain gear before leaving the house. As we move in toward overnight tonight and into your Tuesday morning, a similar setup. Clouds, a few light showers, heavier bands of rain northwest of Chatham and Thomasville that will start to roll through here during the day 
on Tuesday. Here's how the next seven days stack up. Highs mid to low 70s today through Wednesday. And then look at Thursday and Friday. We're back in sunshine at the end of the week and much colder with mornings back in the 30s. The high Thursday in the upper 50s, but then we warm right back up over the weekend. Highs by Sunday return to the 70s. Now we'll be talking much more weather throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.